Uh, hey, Sam, have you seen any of the new Black Mirror episodes? Thoughts on the show in general? Thanks, Jet. The, you mean the interracial marriage show? <laughs> the, uh, I mean, going back to this, it's, this is not the same thing as ri uh, ripping on someone because of their race. Because that's funny. If they have, when black people, I love black comedy. Deaf Comedy Jam is my fave. That's the best comedy is Deaf Comedy Jam. And when they, they rip on white people, that's a different thing. That's not this, like, victim culture, like, feeling sorry yeah. for yourself, fucking painting yourself. Like, I've been a slave for 400 years. That shit's different from what I'm talking about. Um, yikes. How do I not see that ever again? Um, fuck. Um, what was the question? Um, this guy was saying uh, about the Black Mirror. Oh yeah, Black Mirror. The what's the new one? Is it just f mixed couples kissing and being bi bisexual? I mean, what is? Is it good? Does it have uh, the fucking meth guy in it? I'm like, this guy's opinion, whatever this guy says, you can just take, that's my opinion. <laughs> Mac for, for a day. Isn't that from Fallout? Yeah. You know none of this is right. I love this. Yowza. I love it. Oh, do uh. oh, love it. Love <laughs> um, first of all, I, I, I like science fiction that's, um, it doesn't have to be uplifting in the sense that it has a good ending or something, but science fiction that like broadens your, it just makes it makes existence feel vast. Yeah. And this, I know that the Black Mirror, what they do is they either do, like bleak, minimalist, um, uh, pessimistic science fiction that would be. If there's a term for it, it's like they're trying to do realistic science fiction, which is like everybody's on their cell phone, and that's not. Um, you know, when I was a kid reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy or uh, as an adult reading Philip or Philip K. Dick, and I, I'm never like, oh, I wish I was reading more about people being addicted to their phones. That's just very, uh, it's just very weak and gay. And um, it's not the type of thing, it's, even if it's not science fiction, I don't need to, I don't need to read that. I don't need to watch movies like Bo is Afraid. What's Bo is Afraid? I'm sure it's, I don't even need to watch the movie. I'm sure it's about some guy's neuroticism, right? It's Dir about a struggle with anxiety. Director Ari Aster. And what's it about? It's about some guy that is <laughs> neurotic and unable to deal with... Let's look at the plot here. What's the plot here? Diggy boo Diggy boo Following the sudden death of his mother, a mild-mannered but anxiety-ridden man confronts his darkest fears as he embarks on an epic Kafkaesque odyssey back home. They don't, and the other, they, they don't need, you don't need more Kafkaesque things. There's already Kafka, it's already there. You don't need to, you don't, we don't need a million more explorations on what it's like to feel like a bug in the big city or whatever the fuck. Of course it's from Midsommar in, in, in Heredity. These all look the same too. These movies all look the same. Yeah. It's an, it's an Ari, uh, an RE65 with Cook lenses uh, opened up to one point. It's lenses that are like 1.8 or 2.0. You get the most bokeh pot. It looks creamy. That's what cinematographers say, by the way. When they look at this image right here, you see this image? The cinema is, oh, it's creamy. Fucking don't ever, ever get near me. Oh, the image is just, it just, Dreamlike, it's dreamlike, it's hate. It's, I'd rather they said Kino. I'd rather the people making this movie called it Kino. 
than saying it's it's creamy, it's dreamlike, it's warm, it's got uh, dimensionality. Like the shit just it and it looks like it looks like ass. It looks like asshole. And having a cell phone. If I was making a serious piece of art, can you imagine making a serious piece Never of art? Never have a cell phone. Filming in a, a shot. cell phone. What is wrong with you? Have and, and an old cell phone, sure, but like an iPad. Here's a. I, uh, so, <laughs> you're trying to make something to like cement, cement your legacy and get into the cinematic canon, and you've got an iPad on the screen. What are you, a retard? No, I know what you are. You're Ari Aster. Ari Aster. Extreme Jared from Subway physiognomy <laughs> vibes right here. Hey, can I babysit your kid? I was a babysitter until I got picked up film. Oh, holy fuck. It's so predictable, too.